And as you can see, like the skin starts to, to wear down as far as the bronziness goes. I am still on the fence with how I feel about the product. I did not expect to go this hard today, you guys. I didn't even think about it. I just went in and did it. Like this is just, we're just in the moment. I'm getting ready to film today's video and I'm having one of those days where I want to be in the best mood possible. So like I mentioned before, we're getting dopamine dressed to get some serotonin in our lives first thing. So of course we have the big leaf earrings. Some of you guys were asking me in my last video where I got these adorable little hangers for earrings and they're from Amazon. I will link them in my description box down below. So let's see, it's like candy shopping in my own drawers. What do I want to wear? Although now that I'm over here with all my jewels, I'm like, do I want hoopies or do I want leaves? What vibe am I feeling? I'm feeling very boho today. I'm wearing something that's a little nude slash pink. So of course I'm gonna jump into a rose gold gem jewel. And I tuck with my hands, so it is a must to have more cutie babies on here. Oop, this is a little tight today, there it goes. And I'm looking to feel some mermaid vibes, so I'm definitely jumping into a seashell ring. Perfect. Maybe I'll layer her up. I just got my nails done and I just think they're so fun for spring, adding a little sparkle to the day. Let's see how the hair is herring today. Woo! Still deciding on the earrings, not totally sure. The fact that I'm still thinking about them makes me think maybe I should switch. Also just needed a little bit more jewels. Pull the hair back. Let's start with our face. This video is going to have a little bit of everything as I'm testing these products because a lot of this is gonna be PR that you saw in my BoxyCharms, my FabFitFun, and drugstore that I have re recently purchased, and maybe a few other things. Oh, I also got some brand new drops from Ofra. They have a brand new Valentine's Day line out that I am so excited about, along with a very beachy collab. Not mine, some of you thought it was gonna be mine, because I am getting their PR now for the year. I'm so excited, and thank you guys for voting for me. I just love these so darn much. They're so good on my skin. This video is definitely gonna be taking us through so many products. And I'm gonna give you my reviews and first impressions. Doing some morning skincare with Pacifica. They were generous enough to send these to me and I'm so excited. If you happen to have caught my shorts video, I actually did a this or that like comparison directly with the OG Drunk Elephant product to let you know how they compare. Definitely check that out. This is the Glow Baby Serum. I'm going to be using this along with the Sunny Glow together. Is this going to be too much glow? Is there such a thing? We'll find out. Whoop. I have found this to be pretty pigmented, so we're just going to do it with some serum. Make it a little bit of a bronzy smoothie here. And you may notice the red mark here. If you saw one of my recent videos about my skincare journey and my healing journey, I just uploaded a shorts about that as well, kind of giving you guys a little bit of an update. So be sure you guys, obviously, to check my shorts videos out. I do update you guys in between these bigger videos. And I think I'm healing really nicely. Over here was that mole area that I had frozen off. Over here was the bigger mole, which is why this is gonna take a little longer to heal, so it's a little bit more noticeable. But here in between is where they happen to have caught the potential skin cancer, and it is also healing really nicely. So as you can see, this does pretty much what the Drunk Elephant did. It goes on nice, but then it, it looks a little much, right? So then it starts to sink into the skin and diffuse down. I do like putting it with some skincare just to cut it a little bit. But then once you sit for just a little bit, you'll see it just like absorb into the skin and it looks way less Oompa Loompa. <laughs> so after a few minutes, this is what it looks like right now. We're still a bit more bold than need be. I'm probably the palest I'm gonna be all year right now too. So keep that in mind. You can always do less. I probably put a bit too much in there, but it's okay because I'm already gonna be doing some foundations and concealers. And these are just products that I happen to love and have already. Smashbox has recently been sending me some PR too. I'm so, so grateful that I'm seeing like some PR rolling in so I can 
do some reviews for you and you guys who remembers this OG the packaging looks different from the last time I received this but this was such a coveted item it's even called now the original photo finish smooth primer I think it's a per yes it's a smooth and blur which we love because you guys know I have bossy pores but I honestly haven't used this in so long the first time I got it was in an OG boxy charm yep and I remember it being such like a thing because I think that's the primer that like ran out of the bottle like it was uh, like liquid, like it was water because I guess in shipping in the winter, it just did not do well, but then it solidified again and it was totally fine, but it threw a lot of us for a loop. How much do you guys like when I give you these throwback thoughts with makeup? I, I just have them. This glides on all over the face like a dream. You don't need a ton of product at all all and as you can see like the skin starts to to wear down as far as the bronziness goes doesn't it it looks a bit more natural now i did take it down my neck a little bit down to the chest just a touch but this kind of gives you an idea that it can start a bit overwhelming so it can be a little scary at first when you're trying some of these bronzy products but i have found they really do wear down to something really nice and more approachable you just kind of gotta, gotta give them a minute you guys I'm doing a whole new workout routine right now and I'm so sore I'm on day two and I just got up to wash my hands before I go on to the next thing and I just getting up and getting down is painful recently in one of my boxy charms I got the Luna 1111 brushes I love these I've already used them a little bit as you can tell they're a touch dirty but I'm using them now because my other brushes are really dirty so I need to wash my brushes after this video I love the softness of the bristles I love the little fanciness. I love the 1111. It's also great. Using it in a powder you guys have seen me use before. This is my Lawless. I'll be honest, I'm really missing my CoverGirl powder. I have the Clean Girl version, but I just kind of miss my Advanced Radiance one, so I'm thinking I'm going to get that again soon. Oh, this brush is so good. It helps to just staple, staple, stipple, stipple everything back into like my skin so nothing is gonna move around I'm definitely seeing all the glow on my face though are you seeing the glow that absolutely I think is from this baby right here and probably also because I do think this has a quite a bit of that sunny glow to it this I feel like is glowier than the drunk elephant I think we want to look glowy not greasy that's always the goal right Next, I have the Brow Freeze from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have tinkered around with this once, but in order to get it right today, I definitely looked it up online to see what does ABH recommend, because I'm like, do I do this after? My main thought was to do this after I put down like pencil or something, but I'm gonna tell you, this says to do this first and then fill it in with anything you need for sparse areas. I don't know why I'm gonna like that. I'm a little particular, but we're gonna find out. So let's just brush through a little bit here, get the shape going. It says, gently pick up a small amount of product using the spoolie end of brush 12, which this is, cause it came with it. It says, using the back of the cap, work the product back and forth. So I'm guessing it means here? On clean brows, brush through the brow using upward motions and gently pressing down as you Go. I'm gonna have a lot of makeup to play with today. We're definitely gonna be darkening these up. I just hope it works well. I think I might also try this with product first and then this, but maybe that wouldn't work well. I don't know. Using the angled brush side, use the motions to sculpt the brow and shape the hairs. Is this really doing much? Honestly, not sure. I just know that these are really pale compared to my actual hair and the rest of me. Next, fill in the areas of the brow using, a, you know, a, their powder or their pencils. I'm gonna use what I have and see how it does with filling it in. Is it going to be malleable enough? Is it going to be too stiff? I almost feel like this kind of product is for someone who didn't grow up in the 90s that unfortunately did too much Pam Andersing, Andersing to our brows. I feel like I might be able to use less of this product because it's kind of like taking it and pulling it around. So maybe that's a good thing. I'm already torn between two amazing new Ofra highlighters. You guys, these are so stunning. I received both of these in PR. This one here is called Beach, which we know is going to have my heart because it is like a warm 
sunny, glowing bronze moment. Like she's just so delicious. So pretty. And then we have their new limited edition Valentine's Day. This one is called Inner Glow. Look at this. This one has a beautiful pink hue to it if you mix it. And you can definitely see like the purple and pink vibes there. So we are looking at two very different genres, right? We are. And I love the Ofra highlighters have always been some of my top favorites. And since skin swatches are the way to go a lot of times, this kind of gives you an idea of both. I think I'm going to go over to Beach just to kind of go with this very whimsical beachy vibe I have going. Because it's got that glow, that juiciness. Ooh! Oh my gosh! It's just so yummy. I don't even think I need to go in again. A little bit of like diffusing with just the brush here, not adding any extra product. Oh, I love. This is where I'm going to really have a struggle if I'm going to be honest because I have a few palettes. So I think we're going to mix and match today because that's just fun. The limited edition Ofra palette is definitely yelling at me right now because she is beautiful. This is the signature palette self love. Look how beautiful these are. I actually swatched these also on my Instagram. If you don't remember, I have a brand new Instagram. Please follow me because I have definitely swatched these. I've given you guys the sneak peeks ahead of time and you don't want to miss out on anything ahead of time. Then we have the gorgeous Dominique Cosmetics palette. This is the Essentials palette and we can totally see why because it has all of the neutral essentials that we need to start an eye look at least. So we may pop into this one a bit today and I got this in my recent BoxyCharm Ipsy video that I've already uploaded for you. And a lot of you guys were so excited for the Ace Beauté palette. This is the Mystic Romance and are you romanced by this yet? Because you should be. She is beautiful. And honestly, I have a fourth palette, but I don't think I'm going to be getting into this one. I got this from my Ipsy bag, and this has a lot of similar shades to some of the other palettes that I already have on deck that I want to play with. But this looks really nice, and I swatched this in my recent video as well. More than likely, what I'm going to do is put all of these out in front of me so I can play with them. Since so many of you guys were really excited about this palette, let's jump in here. Let's start the eye look actually with this neutral shade. It's called Sacred. So let's see how sacred this is up here as we play with this. A lot of us have loved the Ace Beauté formula in line for years. I was introduced to it by BoxyCharm a long time ago. I love when there's a cream shadow that just lays down perfectly to let everything lay on top. I like a clean canvas. Since we all know I love a neutral, let's pop in there for the crease. Just take this down just a little bit. Let's pop into Enigma a little lower down in the crease. And I know what you're thinking. What's her plan? I have no plan ever. I just love to let the makeup speak to me. Can I just tell you I'm loving how juicy my skin looks? Not just the highlighter that I added, but my skin looks so glowy. It looks really nice. Since we all know I have a flair for the dramatic, I really want to jump into this Ofra palette and go in here into this darker shade on a very small detail brush and really work up the drama in this outer corner. Ooh, this packs beautifully. No choppiness or anything. Right now, all of these shadows are doing exactly what I want them to do, exactly where I want them to do it. All of these formulas are really amazing. Every now and again, you'll get a palette that has some like hit or miss products or some are better than others. And so far, everything I'm playing with is really nice. A lot of these don't require a ton of blending either, which is kind of nice. It's Valentine's weekend, so we have to do something a little bit extra, right? And I'm a little stuck. So here's the thing. I have definitely played with the shade Aura here in the Ace Beauté palette, and she is stunning. I actually filmed a shorts wearing this, and it is punchy. It is beautiful. It looks dazzling on the lids. It really, really does. However, I've already played with this and I've not gotten an opportunity to play with her yet. So I think I wanna play with this right now 
just look at these gorgeous shades. I'm just like in awe looking at them. Should we be a little extra? I don't do this kind of stuff anymore because I feel like it's extra steps for makeup, but sometimes when you have more options to play with, you just wanna play. So I'm gonna go up here before I go into any shimmers into this gorgeous peachy shade. And I'm gonna just come right up here, give myself a little extra coral touch moment. Now I really wanna to touch these two to see what they look like. They're so creamy, more bubblegum pink, but lighter much more approachable. Look at these. Oh, this is a gorgeous Valentine's weekend trio. You know, we're just going to go for the gusto right now. We're going to go for this gorgeous shade here. She's more bold, but that's okay. We are all about being more is more because we can, and it's fun. It's just fun. If you decide you need to brighten it up a little bit with that lighter color, you can shimmery but not too shimmery like it just gives you just enough and because more is more I'm next gonna come into this gorgeous shimmery shade here that's lighter in pink with a brush and I want to see how she does if I just put her on the inner corner oh oh this is what it, this is the the glow I didn't know I needed look at that look at that so pretty this just took it to another level another level all right, I'm not even done yet. I'm not even done. I don't ever really go this bold anymore with my eye makeup or go this in depth with all the shades, but when they start to speak to you and just give you those boosts of energy and just happiness, we have to do it. So I'm going into this full on bubblegum pink shade down here, this Barbie pink. <laughs> and I'm gonna use it for a liner. Oh my gosh. This just took it there. I wish I had this palette when the Barbie movie came out. I did not expect to go this hard today, you guys. I did not. But do you see the this just happiness this is bringing to the look? Oh, I'm living for this immediate yes. Immediate yes. I'm going to need full focus, so hold on. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so much fun. In person, I don't know how this is actually translating right now on camera, but this is so beautiful. It's just like the juicy skin totally distracting me, but this pink looks so nice. I didn't even get it wet, it's just dry. I think it did a gorgeous job. This whole look right now is just giving me so much dopamine. It is so much fun. I'm getting that serotonin slayed vibe right now and I am living for it. So now what comes next? Oh my gosh, I think I have a blue liner though. I may be skipping that. Let's figure this out. Um, I definitely have like two mascaras to go through with you. Everything in here is new, so I'm just not sure how everything is gonna play together. This is the new Gwen Stefani blue liner that I received from my Icon box, but you know what? We're living for it. I love blue. I have blue all over the place, so let's just see. I didn't even think about it. I just went in and did it. Like this is just, we're just in the moment. This actually glides on like a dream. It is not hard to put on at all in the most difficult area for me, which is the waterline. The question is, is, is it gonna bleed all over the place? That's what we gotta find out. And is it gonna last? It's so easy to apply. Like this is the creamiest formula ever that I have put under my, uh, well, on my waterline and it's not irritating my eyes. My eyes are so sensitive that I always worry about this because some formulas, it works fine. Other ones, I just want to keep blinking and my eyes start watering. And so far, you guys, I am just like a bright bubblegum pink and blue vibe and I'm living for it. It's not pulling off either. Like I'm layering it up just for last ability purposes and it's not like pulling off what's underneath, which is such a common issue I struggle with. So far, this liner, what is this one? This is a 24 hour gel pencil liner. I just committed to this for 24 hours. Well, at least until I try to get it off, but we'll see how this goes, but not mad about it. All right, so we have two mascaras. One I have tried, where did it go? So we have a KVD mascara and I have a Rare Beauty mascara. Both of these came to me in my recent unboxing with BoxyCharm and Ipsy. I do have this one open, the KVD Tattoo. Is that what this is called? Oh, this is full sleeve. I did use this off camera, so I say we jump into this since it's already open. But first, we must curl the lashes.
not loving the way my upper lashes are looking. Now, I'm gonna give the disclaimer that some of you are probably sick to death of hearing me say if you have followed me for a long time. Mascaras need time to open up, oxidize, live their life because what they are at first can only get either better or sometimes worse. I'm hoping this one gets better because all this does is make my lashes look really sparse, clumpy, not my jam for the way I like my lashes to look. So I did go in with another mascara that I'm trying to use up from ABH that I think does a pretty decent job. I'm still not loving the way my upper lashes look, so you know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna get wild today. We're gonna open up Rare Beauty mascara that we have here from the Ipsy bag. We're just gonna go full in with trying new makeup today. We're going for the gusto because I'm not loving that other one anyway. And you know, I want, I want something to work. Look how adorable this little mini is. It's so adorable. really well for the lower lashes so well that I did pump up a little bit on the upper lashes they're already kind of dry so I don't know if they're gonna layer well together but I am not mad at that and I'm noticing the closer I get to my lower waterline here with the blue it is not only super vibrant and little touch of metallic and like there's some pearl essence in there it is just drawing me into this part of the eye so much that I'm really glad that it's not smearing all over the place it's not bleeding I'm loving this it is so darn much fun. I haven't done makeup like this, I feel like, in forever. Now, I don't have a new lip liner necessarily to use for you, but I do have multiple new lip products. All right, I am so excited because these next lippy products I have been loving. One of them I did a shorts video with. Again, guys, check out the playlist. I got my hands on the fat oil Click Slicks, and I have loved playing with them. Two of these are very, like, a much of a base lip. You could just wear this and go. It's very matte, very juicy, gives you some hydration. And then another one is more of a gloss topper with a little bit of shimmer in it. So I have these as a lip option, but I also just got some brand new Ofra that I'm so excited about. You guys know I love a nude lip. I'm not even sorry to tell you I got three more in PR and I am so excited. I have Bel Air, Oh My Rai Rai, and Pasadena. These are the kind of shades that I love. Clearly I'm immediately going to Bel Air because I'm me. But should we try a little bit more of a pinky vibe? Should we try Oh My Rai Rai? Let's do some swatching. I can't even help it. Let's just start from the top with some swatches. Lightest to darkest, this is Bel Air. Oof. I mean, isn't that color yummy? I know I've had that one before and loved it. This is the one I'm thinking about right now. This is Oh My Rai Rai. Oof, look how pigmented that is. I could have done a better swatch, sorry, but you get the idea. I'm gonna stain too because these suckers last. And this one is Pasadena. Which one should I do on the lips today? Which one, which one? I think I'm gonna stick with the one I was thinking of right here in the middle. Such a lovely formula. It goes on super creamy. It doesn't feel stiff or tight, at least not now. It feels so nice. I don't even think these get like super like tight on the lips either. They just, they dry down like a liquid lip, but they don't give you that really tight feeling. They don't like show a ton of lines. I love this formula. I really, really do. Oh, I forgot I had one more lippy in here also from the BoxyCharm. This is the shade Tragic Me, and this one is also from the Gwen Stefani Icon Box. Swatch her a little bit here, give you a idea. Oh yeah, she's totally in the wheelhouse. And actually a nice way, and it goes really well with the lip color I have on, a nice way to give a liquid lip a little bit more movement, a little more flexibility is to put something like this on top because then it's just, it's still keeping that same base if you don't want that gloss look at all because the 90s looks are coming back, so is gloss gonna go out? I don't know. I didn't I didn't say it was, I'm just curious, thinking out loud here. Touch a transfer right now because it's still a bit tacky, but I love how this lasts. I'm just gonna stick this on here. This still smells so nice. This smells like vanilla cupcakes. And I'm still gonna put on a gloss because today clearly more is more, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a little bit of a faux pas for some people. I am going to clean my eyelash curler and just give them a little bit of a pump. Be gentle. Whew. Yes, so much better. Now I am going to go in with a touch of the gloss. But my lips feel totally good right now. Like I don't feel like I need a gloss for hydration or movement 
or anything like that. This all just feels so nice. The gloss is gonna be from one of my fat oils and I think it's this one. Yeah, this is the Shiny Lip Balm and this one is in the shade Hits Different. I feel like these are loud clickers. <laughs> and then it just adds that little extra oomph to it. It just makes your lips look a little juicier. Got that glossy vibe to it that just gives it that bigger, juicier, lovelier pout. Okay, let's take out the little hair guys that have been holding back all of the crazy curls. And let's talk about what I think about all of these products. I am shocked at how much I like this bold eye look. I think it is so much fun right now and nothing has budged, nothing has really moved. Nothing is making anything look splotchy now that it's had time to wear into the skin, mix with other makeups. Everything is looking so nice. Starting with the skin, everything feels so juicy. Does it feel tacky? It feels soft. But I don't think anything feels like it's transferring or anything. So I think the primer did a really good job of doing the blurring, making everything look smooth. My skin feels so soft. So I'm just loving these combinations, I think. I'm still trying to decide, to be flat out honest, with who one, which one of these two I like better. Because this one I feel like is a bit bronzier and a bit shinier than this product from the OG origin story that is the Drunk Elephant for the DeBronzy Drops. But I am liking it and I wanna be able to compare it more over time to give you the full dirty details. This is clearly a more inexpensive product to play with and I mean clearly the end result is really nice. I like it at least. These are fantastic. Uh, this is my second time getting these First Aid Beauty Radiance pads that I have loved. I think they're fantastic. My skin always looks so much healthier, glowier, smooth, less, I don't know, dull when I use them. And it's, I've been using them since I got it because I love that one. Outside of the highlighter, I think the skin looks so juicy, not oily, at least at this moment. Hopefully when I'm editing, I don't think it looks oily because I just think it looks so darn nice. And it's almost distracting me how like juicy and, and glowy I look. Like it's like that summer glow and I'm so ready for it. The brows. I am still on the fence with how I feel about the product. Some of you mentioned that you really have to tighten this baby up or it will dry out. I kind of thought it would, so um, thank you for that note. I don't dislike the brows and I don't think they're too stiff either. I was worried that a product like this would make them super stiff. It does not. My hair on my brows it still feels really nice. I'm just not like that soap brow girl. Oh, I just stuck my finger in it. Oh no. So I think for me, this will just maybe be an assist piece on more natural days. For a day like this, maybe it didn't make sense to try it, but it was something new from PR that I wanted to give an, an at bat to. If you like makeup the way I do, which maybe you do because you come and hang out with me and I appreciate it. So this is a nice product. I'm surprised it doesn't make my brows stiff. So I do like that a lot about it. I'm gonna interrupt this review portion to go into some setting sprays. I have two here. I have the final treat, which I feel like I've tried this a bit. And then I also have Mob Beauty that I've not tried. So in the name of this video of trying all new things, let's get into it. Ooh, very fine mist. It smells nice. It's very wet droplets, even though it's a very like spread out mist, it's still very wet feeling. Oh, I think you can tell. <laughs> we'll let that dry a little bit. And as you can still see here on the collarbones, there is a difference in the different highlighters that I had on deck today. Clearly I went into the beachy one and I'm not sad about that because I feel like it went perfectly with today's look. I love the Oprah formula for highlighters. I always think they are a standout. They're always my top tier highlighter. It's actually now that Becca is no more, I mean, there is no competition really. This really is the best highlighter on the market. I'm saying that now, even though they sent me this PR, I've said this for years. So you can trust that that is legit. The Inner Glow Highlighter is so pretty. That's what I have over here on this collarbone. And you can see just the little bit of pink touch in there. Otherwise, if you were to go straight across this way, it would be a very white, very blingy highlighter, but it still melts with the skin so well. This would be beautiful on the eyes as well, you guys. So pretty, it's that pearlized powder that just really melts. It gives you that extra just bing. Can we please take a second to discuss all of these palettes that we had on deck today that are so, so good. I say this is not the first time I've used this Dominique palette, but it is a time that I've gone back into it several times. And I think this is so good. The shimmers are good, the mattes are good. 
I feel like you cannot go wrong with the Dominique Cosmetics palette. I love them so much. I think they're great. Now, I will say, I find this palette to be very consistent, and I've always found the Ace Beauté formula to be consistent. So this newer palette that I got from the BoxyCharm, the Mystic Romance, which is perfect for Valentine's, is definitely something that I know you guys are excited to see. I've tried it once before in that shorts video that I mentioned, and it is so stunning. I think this is a great formula. I think the layout is beautiful. I think the color story is also something I do not have. This also put me out of my comfort zone too because this looks like it would be really dark and it actually comes out a little bit more terracotta. So that's what's in the eye look today. It builds up beautifully. <laughs> I'm not getting choked up, but I think all the powders are in the air right now. Maybe it is choking me up. Maybe it's that good that I'm weeping with how good it is. I like to give you updates, so stay tuned, be subscribed. Now, the piece that I wasn't sure how it was gonna go, even if it's sent to me in PR, I'm always gonna be honest. I don't have a ton, ton of time with eyeshadow palettes from Ofra. So the fact that I got this in PR made me go, oh, I'm excited, but I'm gonna be honest. And these shadows, I tried almost all of these today. Did I try all of these today? <gasps> I tried all of these today. I didn't even put that together. It's all great. And I have had palettes in the past from Ofra that maybe haven't been my favorite. They're more like the face palette, so it's a little bit of everything. This palette, this one really hits home for me. And looking at the color story, if you would have asked me a year ago what I thought that, I would have been like, I don't know. But I love everything about this eye look. The outer corner has this beautiful chocolate shade that really did not have any kick off on the face. None of these kicked off on the face today at all. Super exciting about that once you've already done your face and you're really happy with the glow. It blended beautifully, needed minimal blending. I love that in a formula because that means it's easy to use for everybody and it's not gonna take a ton of time. The shimmers, clearly gorgeous on the lid. Definitely are a standout piece with a brush or with the finger, which are my preferred ways to use them. I used it both ways. Love it. But can we talk about this bubblegum Barbie pink pink? I did not think I was going to talk about this today. I did not think I was going to put that on my face today because when is the last time you saw me put on a vibrant pink? I'll wait. Look through the, the scroll list of my playlist. You're not going to find it. I think this is just so much fun. This is beautiful. In person, it's even more punchy than it's translating, at least from what I can see right now on camera. And it looks so smooth, so good. It doesn't look patchy. It's not looking inconsistent. It's not moving all around on the face. I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed right now. And the other thing that is really just mm, making me in love with this eye look is this liner that I just on a whim put in the waterline and I did not think it was gonna go well. I was like, oh, maybe I'll skip the eyeliner today because I've done so much of this pink palette and made it liner. So glad I didn't. So glad I didn't. The makeup gods came into play today and said, put thy eyeliner on the waterline. And I'm so grateful. It does look a little iridescent-y. It looks a little shimmery, even a touch. That metallic vibe that really is making my eyes pop today. It's going so well with the bright pink, I think. I just think this is so much fun. Is this gonna be a beast to take off tonight? Possibly. Do I care? Not even a little bit because this is giving me so much excitement for my makeup today, so much. I'm loving this piece a lot with my makeup, the way my skin is glowy with my makeup and the highlighter. I am living for this whole juicy look today. This is like my juicy getting ready for summer vibe and I am here for it, but we're still Valentine's loving it. The amount of lip products we had today on deck was a little exciting and a little embarrassing all at the same time, but I'm here for it. I have what, um, two different lip liners on. This is on, one of these and one of these is on my lips today. And it is so comfortable. I'm not feeling goopy. I'm not feeling like I have too much on. I'm not feeling like it's roaming around and going everywhere. I'm really pleased with it. I just think everything is so comfortable. And again, I still feel like if you love a liquid lipstick or you did love them, I feel like you really can never go wrong with an Ofra one because they have so many different shades that work with so many skin tones. I love it. Miami Fever, it might be my ultimate favorite for forever and ever and ever. Is that a Kathleen Lights collab from, um, I don't know, uh, eons ago? That one's still one of my top favorites. It's put this bullet lippy on top that's like stinking identical to it. Just made it even creamier. That next level of comfort, which I loved. And then the fat oils, I've loved these. These I think are really great dupes 
for the Tarte. They're not maybe the exact same creaminess formula, but they wear and look the exact same. Actually, I would say some of these are even more pigmented than the Tarte Maracujas that these are dupes for because I actually did some swatchings for my shorts video, went to wash off my hand or my arm and I couldn't get them to wash off. Similar to how I know this is gonna go later today when I try to wash this off, it's, I'm gonna have streaks. I'm gonna have streaks. I actually had streaks with these glosses. It's true because they stay on. I love that. Mascara, different ball game, little less love there, but, but oh but, we're gonna give her some time. We're gonna let it oxidize. We're gonna try it again. The KVD Full Sleeve Mascara really left me wanting more. Um, I did pop into some other things that I had on deck, but I'm really glad that that did drive me to open up the Rare Beauty one because I like this brush actually a lot better. I'm thinking I'd like the full size even more because then it's a longer wand, but this could definitely come in. So I'm gonna keep playing with this too and give you guys an update. Now that the face has dried down, ooh, it's still feeling a little tacky. We're a little tacky, my beauty. What's going on with that? I don't think it's bad. I don't know if this is gonna be, nothing is ever gonna beat my all-nighter, let's be serious. The brushes are a win. I know brushes maybe aren't as fun or sexy to talk about, but a staple brush, something good to use with your powders is crucial. And mine have been so dirty that my makeup has not been doing as well. So once I hit the stop recording on this video, I'm gonna go wash some brushes. I kinda even wanna take this one that I was powdering with and just do like a little bit of this because I'm still feeling sticky. Is this a problem? Is this a bad idea? I don't know, but I don't like feeling sticky. I feel like this was a lot of products to talk to you guys about in a first impressions, early reviews, cause some of these I have dabbled into a bit, but some of these are also brand new to me. So I'm so excited to be able to give you guys some fresh content with some brand new on the market. You can buy right now makeup, BoxyCharm, Ipsy, Ofra, Smashbox, Pacifica, NYX. We had a lot going on in this video. Tell me what you are thinking. Are any of these on your radar? Do you have them? Do you love them? Is there something new on the market I should be looking out for? Tell your girl because you guys know I am always here to find the latest and greatest. And you know I'm gonna give you updates on all this. So be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, share the video. It helps my channel so much to grow. I so appreciate when you guys do that. Thank you and I will see you in the next one. Bye friends.